You ever wonder how kids are monitored throughout their school, especially when they go on bathroom breaks? It's something that teachers always bugged us about. You know what? They've solved the problem and they've generated a new one instead. Schools in the US have added this new tool to monitor how long children go to bathroom breaks. Not only how long, but where they go. Let's go to some details. This thing is called e Hall Pass. It's a digital system that students have to use to request to leave their classroom, which takes note of how long they've been away including to visit the bathroom. And this is spread into uh, schools around the United States, hopefully not yours, because this is how this thing works. The system itself works as a piece of software installed on a computer or a mobile device. Students request a pass through the software and the teacher then approves it. The tool promises Hall omnis omniscience. Hmm. Omniscience. Omniscience, Which is, is uh, pretty scary. <laughs> hmm. uh, with the ability to always know who has a pass and who doesn't without asking the student. That's according to the product's website. Here's a, a, an image from their site, which shows how it, totally encompassing this whole thing is. The things they wanna make sure teachers know is happening with these students when they go on bathroom breaks. More, admins can then access data collected through the software and then view a live dashboard showing details on all passes. E-Hall Pass can also uh, stop meetups of certain students and limit the amount of passes going to certain locations. This website also adds that, explicitly mentioning vandalism and TikTok challenges. Gotta knock those out. Uh, there's more. Uh, Eduspire, the company that makes eHall Pass, told a trade publication Ed Surge in March that 1,000 schools use the system. Brian Tevenstrup, president of Eduspire, told the outlet that the company's biggest obstacle to selling the product is when a school isn't culturally ready to make those kinds of changes yet. See what you think that means. So um, <laughs> not culturally ready yet. Now here's more about how this is getting even scarier. The system has some resemblance to sort of worker monitoring carried out by Amazon, which tracks how long its staff go to the toilet for and is used to penalize workers for time off task. It also highlights how automated tools have led to increased surveillance of students in schools and employees in places of work. So now there's over a dozen online petitions, as this is caught wind, of course, for this uh, whole thing to be replaced, maybe not monitor your kids so much. One of those uh, petitions reads, we're expected to be young adults, and by this EHP system taking place this year, we have a great amount of freedom and independence being taken away. Many students that attend Indy have come together and decided to petition against this new system that has been created. We, as the students feel, as if we're being watched and monitored at all times throughout our school day, which is extremely uncomfortable. So, Jake, you guys can't meet up. You guys can't be in that particular bathroom. You can't be in that other hallway. And in fact, you've been there for 45 seconds. Where is the urine? Yeah, so uh, first of all, uh, Fauci and Bill Gates are gonna put chips in our heads and they're gonna track us. Why? We're tracked all the time uh, through these corporations that you guys love so much in the right wing. Why, why would they even need to put a chip in we our keep heads? keep opting in. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, uh, and then, uh, but I gotta give the schools credit. They're finally doing uh, job training. They say they don't do yeah. it, there it is. <laughs> okay, Amazon's gonna track uh, how long you spend in the bathroom. Now the school's tracking how long you spend in the bathroom. Uh, thank God, the one thing I really need, I got two young kids in school that are nine and 12 years old, but I don't know how long they spend in the bathroom. And this is the thing that I gotta know. What kind so, of parent are you, Jane? Yeah, you know, let's see. You don't know the exact length of their pee? Yeah, this is, a, on, this is a, I'm glad there's an app so that someone could make a lot of money off of this junk that's actually super counterproductive and takes away our privacy so that you could tell teachers later, we ran out of money and you're gonna have to buy the books for the kids. Peeing, there's an app for that. I mean, this is insane. <laughs> They've never gotten hall passes right because now, even the way this is gonna work, because the old school way they did it was just the arbitrary, oh, you wanna go pee? Sure, grab the hall pass. And it was always some random object the teacher had, an eraser, a paperweight, a wooden whale. So you had to go pee holding the same object everybody else held. Flawed system right there. <laughs> How about just say, can I go to the bathroom? And say, okay, maybe mark down the time if they're taking too long. So now they're going phones with it. So now the kid's gonna get in trouble for pulling out their phone during class. Sorry. I, I, I was not texting, I was just asking if I can go number two. Is that all right? <laughs> I mean, they just can't, how about just run a class where you have the respect of the students. If you gotta track and put on a little piece of paper, be like, he goes to the bathroom every day for 30 minutes, that's excessive, let's talk about that's it. That's what I wanted that's to ask, That's your solution. Actually. I'm glad you brought up that way, because number one, actually the hall passes were always something wooden, because they needed something that's brown, yeah. that you couldn't tell what's <laughs> on it, just saying. Um, I thought about that as a 12 year old, I was like, why? 
Anyways. Parent um, the JR. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to touch this. Um, number two, they're, okay, say you have four troublesome kids in class, because they're kids who like to yeah. go in the hallway and, and do their shenanigans. How do you monitor that, though, or keep them from being out in the hallway, missing the class, and they come back in and they're failing tests, and I'm not a good teacher anymore? What's the best way, though? I mean, yeah. I disagree with this whole electronic monitoring, but then there could be people that said, well, what the hell? Come on. Yeah, look, it's, it's, look, it's called being a, an administrator, a teacher, et cetera. It's not like these are new problems. We've dealt with these for decades. Because you know why? Sometimes kids like to, in the old days, I don't know if they still do it, they would smoke in the back, okay? They'd smoke in the bathroom, they would make out in the bathroom, whatever they were doing, okay? Shenanigans have existed for a long time. We're not saying, ah, let the shenanigans go, let them go nuts. Let them smoke and make out at the same time and never come back from the bathroom. No, we used to, as Ben said, they would know. Bobby takes it awfully long time. Yeah, and it one person to goes at once. You allow one person to go till they come back, except for rare emergencies when a guy's clearly jumping up and down saying, I really gotta pee like right now, maybe you make an exception. You just use human judgment. Draconian tracking of students' movements is not the way to make them like school more. They already find school to be very restrictive. And that to me is the biggest problem in general with our education system. It's always just been this very punitive vibe. Always yeah. school never makes it like, here, you're gonna be at school, you may as well make the most of it. We're gonna teach you how to build life skills. They never take a day at the beginning of each semester to explain context. Here's why you're gonna learn what you're gonna learn. Here's how it'll help you in your life. It's just from minute one, here's your syllabus. You have to read 42 books, take 87 tests. If you miss one of them, you're gonna fail, your life's over. How about just get students to opt in, get them excited about it. And then you get a culture that's a lot more chill and a lot more of students being enthusiastic about their education. You do the same with breaks. You just have a policy that's common sense. You can go, not every day, not for a long time, not multiple at once. There's somebody monitoring the halls anyway. We don't have to, to put trackers on them. Yeah, in fact, we love our members. We do the show with you guys. Pickled Narwhal wrote in on uh, Twitch. Uh, so like an ankle bracelet for school kids. Yeah, pretty much. So this is what I hate about it. There's two, there's a couple of components here. One is uh, the needless invasion of our privacy over and over and over again. And then two is making school feel like a prison. Mm -hmm. We're tracking you, where are you going? Oh, You spent 35 seconds in the bathroom, that's it, you're in trouble, okay? Beep, 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 where are you now? Oh My God, you went into the yard for a second, right. we caught you, beep, 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 right. beep, 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 that's the sound that this <laughs> right. system's gonna make. Right. Oh, yeah, oh, you took too long, you took too long, why haven't you done it already? They're already nervous enough at the urinal, yeah. okay, so. Here's a good barometer how you can know if the system you're suggesting for children at school is good or not. If it's something that has been used to punish Andy Dick, Maybe don't do it for school children. <laughs> Ankle bracelet vibes, maybe not the move. You know yeah. what I mean? You gotta earn that. And finally, come back to the, uh, the reason why this even exists, okay? Money, somebody thought of this idea, why don't we track the kids? And then I guarantee you, they grease some politicians and this and that along the way. And then all of a sudden, everybody's like, oh, I'm getting a piece of the action here. Oh, that's gonna help my reelection to get a little contribution from these guys. All right, give me 50 yep. bucks and I'll put it in the schools and you'll get you know, five million bucks. And because otherwise, right. I mean, at a bare minimum, it's totally unnecessary, especially when we can't buy the kids books, yeah. right? That's the thing, it's But so somebody's expensive. making serious bucks off of this, and that's why it exists. The teachers have to buy their own pencils and crayons for the kids because we've invested a bunch to know exactly how long they pee, so we can get pee time averages. That's the important priority in America's education system. The only thing maybe this just did just pop in my head, I maybe would be in favor of a tracking system like this for Congress. That's not a bad idea. I'd like no. to see where they're going and what <laughs> yeah. they're spending their time doing. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know what? We got a deal. I'll let you Good track thing. the kids in the if school. We do, if we can track yes. the Congress members, yes. I guarantee you. Like, well, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't know that we need it. I don't know that we need it. Okay. They always complain that they're the body that no one likes. Monitor. Okay. Yep. Okay.